number theory is one of the oldest branches of mathematics, and its central topic, prime numbers, has been of interest for any major mathematician in our history. And for almost 400 years, there exists an unspoken competition for finding bigger and bigger primes. If you write them out in full, you notice that something remarkable happened in 1876. This prime is almost three times as long as the previous one. So how was it possible to discover this prime before the computer era? It all happened thanks to Edouard Lucas, a French mathematician born in 1842. He devised an extremely efficient primality test that we now know as Lucas-Lemmer test, because Lemmer enhanced the test at the beginning of the 20th century. So, the test only works for Mersenne primes and has a very simple setup. Define a sequence SK. It equals 4 for k equals 0 and each next term is a previous term squared minus 2. And if p is an odd prime, then p's Mersenne number is a Mersenne prime if and only if it divides p minus second term of the sequence. Wow, this is an if and only if rule, which is so uncommon for primality tests. To remember a few, think about Pollard's row method. It either gives you a factor or fails. Same with Miller Rabin or Solovey Strassen. They either find a factor or tell you that your number is probably prime. Right, so to find out whether this Mersenne number is a prime, we need to calculate it and we also need to find the 125th term of the sequence. Both of these numbers are insanely big and I can't imagine how one could do it without a calculator. I even sat down and tried to do it by hand. It took me around 8 minutes just to get up to 2 to the 40th. So I think that calculating both of the numbers and dividing them must take several weeks. And by the way, what if you make a mistake? Was there anyone checking these calculations back in the 19th century? Because we are dividing two things, we can actually work modulo. For example, let's check if this number is prime. So, S0 is 4, S1 is 14, S2 is 194, and now we can reduce it modulo 127, leaving 64, which we square, subtract 2, simplify modulo 127, and so on. But even this way, how tedious must it be to divide these terms by 2 to the 127 minus 1, a 39-digit number? It was a truly unbelievable achievement at the time, and Luca's record stood unbeaten for almost 70 years because the first computers to have significant memory appeared around 1950s. And I discussed the current state large prime search in one of my previous videos, so go check it out. 